to A Lab Lessons Online. Okay, we're back with math again, covering question 8. Um, this question is one of the harder questions of your paper. Uh, this, for those of you guys who just only started to tune in, right? This is um, your 2017 A Levels H2 Math Paper 1. So I'm going to move on to question 8 today. I've already gone through question 1 to 7 um, in the previous few videos. Okay, you can check it out. It's all in my math playlist. I'll uh, most probably create a playlist for this, this paper itself as well soon. Um, but okay, this question is going to be on complex numbers. And it's really quite a complex question. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It is one of your harder questions in, in your paper 1. So um, for those of you guys who are not exactly very um, sure on what complex numbers are or you have no idea how to do this question, uh, pay close attention. Okay, we'll try and go through it slowly. Um, um, so this will most likely be a longer video, right? Because each part, part A, B, part 1 uh, and part 2 are all actually quite chunky and it's quite um, difficult, okay? So we'll go through it slowly. Okay, part A. Let's start off with part A. Alright, so the question asks you to find the roots of the equation z squared bracket 1 minus i minus 2z plus 5 plus 5i equals to 0. Okay, giving your answers in Cartesian form. A plus IV. So this is basically what Cartesian form means. Alright, so for this first part, okay, you can um, basically start to see certain certain things in this question, okay, that uh, you can actually make use of your previous algebraic functions to do. Okay, in this case, you can actually um, liken this to a quadratic equation, okay. Reason being is because you have got an x square in front and then you have got like a, it's like a x square here. This is like a x, your z. Okay, and this is like your, your c. Okay, so what you can do is you can make use of your quadratic equation to actually um, kind of like break this down first further, okay, before we start to solve what your your z um, values can be, what your roots are. Alright, so I have, I'll just write out the whole equation again. So I've got z squared bracket 1 minus i minus 2z plus 5 plus 5i equals to 0. Alright, so let's, let's start to break this down. So... It's a very, very classic formula, okay? It's your x equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So that's what that's the formula we're going to use. So in this case, a is your 1 minus i. b is your, your negative 2. And c is 5 plus 5i. All right, so if we're going to use these um, values, okay, to actually uh, factorize it, you have z equals to minus b, which is minus minus 2, plus minus square root of b square, minus 4ac over 2a. Simple. Alright, then after this, let's just uh, solve this. So, so simpl simplifying it, you get 2 plus minus square root of 4, and I'm going to take out the 5, okay, so that I can, since 5 is a common um, common number over here, so I'll just have minus 20, bracket 1 minus i, 1 plus i, over 2, bracket 1 minus i. Okay, so this is where we're at currently. So from here, what you can do is you can start to use a bit of your complex numbers, um, identities that you have learned before which in this case, so 2 stays there, 2 plus minus square root of 4. Okay, and then this is where it gets interesting, alright? So this is basically like your normal expansion, right? So 1 times 1, I'll just have 1 square. So this is back to your trigger identities. And then after that, minus i times i will, get, will give you negative 1. So it will become a plus 1 square. Okay, this is where you need to remember your complex numbers, what you have learned in your, in your lecture series. And over 2, bracket 1 minus i. So now I just need to simplify everything. So you will just get a very nice 2 plus minus 4 minus 20, which is just negative 36 over 2, bracket 1 minus i. So this is what you will be getting. And now what we can do is we can then split this up because you can't square a negative number, right? So if we're looking, since we're using complex numbers here, you can split this up into a negative 36, negative, uh, and square root negative, I mean, square root 36 and square root negative 1 over 2 times 1 minus i. And from here, square root 36, you know what it is. It is very, very simply 6. And then square root of negative 1 can become a positive i. 
So it become 2 plus 6i over 2 bracket 1 minus i. And from here, you can divide it all by uh, 2. So you'll just get 1 plus minus 3i over 1 minus i. Alright, so this is basically what you have come to. Two, okay, which is that z equals to 1 plus minus 3i over 1 minus i. So this basically means that there are two roots, right? Because you've got a plus, you've got a minus. So therefore, let's just split it up. z equals to 1 plus 3i over 1 minus i. Or z equals to 1 minus 3i over 1 minus i. So now all you just need to do is rationalize this. So when you rationalize, you just need to take the conjugate of your bottom, your denominator. So it's times 1 plus i. For 1 plus i and over here it will be 1 minus 3i over 1 minus i times 1 plus i over 1 plus i so taking the conjugate you just need to do your normal uh, complex number functions and everything and the top part just expand you will just get 1 plus i plus 3i plus 3 over 1 square plus 1 square complex number of uh, functions okay then the this side will be 1 plus i plus, sorry, this should be minus 3i minus 3i here. Oh, sorry, not minus 3i. It should be minus 3. Uh, I mean plus 3 because uh, i squared, then you make it a negative, so it's negative 1 times negative 1. Okay, hence on this side, it will be minus 3i but plus 3 that means this side should have been a min, uh, minus 3 instead right so that's all so then after you just need to simplify this you will, this side you will get um, 4i minus 2 over 2 Simplify it, you will just get minus 1 plus 2i. Can you bring the real one in front? Um, on this side, you still have 1 square plus 1 square here. On this side, it will just become 4 minus 2i over 2. And your answer will just be uh, divided by that. You get 2 minus i. Alright, so your answers are very, very simple. It's these two. So your two real, your two roots that you have would be z equals to minus one plus two i and z equals to two minus i. That's all you have for this part. Okay, so that's part A completed. Alright, part B is the slightly trickier one. So given that w equals to one minus i, find w squared, w cubed, w to the power of four in Cartesian form, and then after that we're given also that w to the power of four plus da, 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 da equals to zero. Find the values of p and q. Okay, let's do this slowly. Right, part B, part B, part one. Part B, part 1. Okay, so firstly, you're already given. Okay, you already know that one of the roots is W equals to 1 minus I. So let's just write that out. W equals to 1 minus I. So to find W square is very simple. You just square this whole thing. You get 1 minus I square. Expand this. You just get 1 minus 2I minus 1. This should give you the value of minus 2I. Then to find W cubed. Is w squared w correct? So w squared w. So it will be minus 2i times 1 minus i. Expand this, you just get minus 2i minus 2. Hence, this would just be uh, minus 2 minus 2i. Okay, you bring the real one in front always. Okay, and lastly, w to the power of 4 is just w squared w squared. Okay, if not, if you're going to rewrite it, it'll just be w squared to the power of 2. Okay, so it's just minus 2i squared, which will just give you minus 4, right? Because i squared um, um, is negative 1. Okay, so that is all you have for this part. Minus 4. Okay, then the next part asks you to find p and q. Alright, so the whole equation, okay, let's just write out the whole equation. You have got w to the power of 4 plus pw to the power of 3 plus 39w squared plus qw plus 58 equals to 0. So this is the entire equation. 
Alright, so what we're going to do now, okay, is we're going to try and um, basically just simply substitute, okay, substitute certain things into the into the equation. So what can we do here is we can just sub in our W um, values. So when you sub in your W values, um, based on what you've just found, um, leave your P and Q over there, okay, because P and, P and Q are basically um, actual real numbers, okay. So you have minus 4 first, okay, you got it from W to the power of 4, plus minus 2 minus 2i, this is your w cube, plus 39 minus 2i, plus q times 1 minus i, plus 58 equals to 0. So now you've gotten this, just expand everything. So you will have uh, the minus 4 and 58, you will just get plus 54. So you have minus 2p plus q plus the 54 and then I'm basically splitting it based on real numbers and based on your imaginary so first one is minus 4 plus 58 minus 2 times p and then you have got q times 1 okay on the other hand you have got the others which is going to be minus 2p minus q minus 78i will give you 0 okay so therefore once you combine everything here you will just have minus 2p plus Q plus 54 equals to 0. So this is assuming, right, that we have another imaginary part over here, which is as a 0i. So this is a real number. So real is going to be equal to 0. So this would be equation 1. And now you look at the imaginary side, you have got minus 2p minus q minus 8 also equals to 0i. So you get rid of the i, you just have this as equation 2. So all you need to do now is just sub this into your GC or just do simultaneous equations. So sub 1 into 2. Okay, using GC or, or whatever, you will find that you get P equals to negative 6. Q will be equals to negative 66. And that's your answer done. All right, so that's for part B, part 1. Okay, part B, part 2, using the values of P and Q that you just found. Oops that you just found in, in this part 1, express this whole equation as the product of two quadratic factors. Okay, quadratic factors, remember, it's something like ax square plus bx plus c. So something along these lines, okay, you need to be able to express it like that. ax square plus bx plus 3 times dx square plus ex square plus f. Okay, this is how, the, how, how your answer should look like. So you should always aim towards getting something along these lines. All right, so for this part, Okay, let's do it down here. So part B, 2. Okay, you have got the whole equation. Let's write the whole equation again. But this time we sub in. So P is now 6. W cubed plus 39 W squared. And then you sub in your Q. Minus 66 W plus 58 equals to 0. Okay, so quadratic factors, right? They already gave you that one of the roots, okay, is W equals to 1 minus I, correct? Yeah, W equals to 1 minus I. So what you can do is that the since that is is a is a is really a quadratic factor, and since your this entire equation over here has all real numbers, okay, that means that the conjugate exists. Okay, so the opposite of it. So what you can do is from there you can only really find your first quadratic factor. So you're just gonna take W minus your 1 minus i, so bring it to the other side, and then now multiply it by the conjugate, which is w minus 1 plus i. Okay, this will give you your, your first quadratic factor, which is going to be w squared. Then you just need to combine it. So this is based on complex numbers identity, okay? And then you just need to add 1 square plus 1 square because of your i's and your 1, your 1 minus i, 1 plus i. So this is it's normal. It's, you've been doing this your whole while, so don't be... Don't be, don't be shocked okay so you combine this you just get w square minus 2w plus 2 so this is your first this is your first quadratic um factor okay using the whole idea of conjugate okay the conjugate exists because they're all real numbers just remember that okay then now what, what you can do is you can use this and use long division okay classic long division in order to find your other um quadratic factor so just do your long division I have w to the power of 4 minus 6w cubed plus 39w squared minus 66w plus 58. So divide this by your other quadratic. You've got minus 2w plus 2. So just simply do it. So first one I have is w squared. Try and put it together with where the actual um, degree is. 
So I'll have minus four minus w to the power of four minus two w cube plus two w square. So minusing all this, I'll get minus four w cube plus thirty seven w square minus sixty six w. So after this, I can do it one more time and then sub in minus four w. So I will have minus four w cube plus eight w square minus eight w. So minusing this off, I'll just be left with 29 w square minus 58 w plus 58. I can do this one more time and add a 29 at the end. And so I'll just have minus 29 w square minus 58 w. Oh, it's very, very nice. So I'm not even left with anything. Minus 58, I'll just be left with zero. So very nice. So that's how you know that this is the correct answer, okay? Because your two roots, when uh, multiplied, they give you the exact entire um, um, equation, which is your w to the power of 4 minus 6w cubed plus 39w squared minus 86w plus 58. So therefore, answer would be, just you can just rewrite the whole equation, w to the power of 4, 6w cubed plus 39w squared minus 66w plus 58. This would just be equivalent to your first one, which is w squared minus 2w plus 2 times w squared minus your new answer, minus 4w plus 29. And so that would be your answer completed. And that is your full marks for this question. Right? So I know it's a bit of a trickier question on complex numbers, but once you actually start to understand your whole idea of conjugates and how they all work in hand, you actually realize that it's not very, very tricky. It's just a matter of substituting and you'll be able to find your answer. So just understand what the question is asking for and it shouldn't be that big of a problem. All right, so if any questions, okay, leave it down in the comment section below. I'll answer them. I will go through the whole topical series on complex numbers soon. So if you're not sure on what conjugate is, you're not sure what how come it's one square plus one square, I'll go through that very, very soon. So not to worry. Um, for now, just understand how to do this question. It's a very um, important question to, to, to learn how to get um, hang off. And um, if you did enjoy this video, yeah, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It does help me a lot. As well as to subscribe to the channel. And I will release the next few videos very, very soon. Alright, so if not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.